It is an honor for me to be standing before you at this hour. I am the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Chirag, the church where Alex grew up. I have served that congregation for nine and a half years. Meanwhile, I have appreciated the hospitality of this church, along with the joys I have had in meeting many people associated with this community. Indeed, we have gathered from many places this day, representing different communities, yet coming together on this special day. We gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness together the joining of Alexander Christopher Evans and Lori Beth Bullard, to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. God created us male and female and gave us marriage so that husband and wife may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health throughout all their days. God gave us marriage for the full expression of the love between a man and a woman. In marriage, a woman and a man belong to each other and with affection and tenderness freely give themselves to each other. God gave us marriage for the well-being of human society, for the ordering of family life, and for the birth and nurture of children. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery in which a man and a woman are joined together and become one just as Christ is one with the church. In marriage, husband and wife are called to a new way of life, created, ordered, and blessed by God. This way of life must not be entered into carelessly or from selfish motives, but responsibly and prayerfully. We rejoice this day that marriage is from God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, let marriage be held in honor by all. <clears throat> let us pray. <coughs> Almighty God, as we gather in your name, we praise you for having created this world and redeeming us through Jesus Christ. We come together to ask your blessing on Alex and Lori Beth, to surround them with our prayers so that they will be sustained in this hour with the decisions that they will make. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us all say amen. Amen. Alex, understanding that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant? I do. Lord Beth, understanding that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant? I do. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. And to you, the congregation. Will all of you witnessing these vows do everything in your power to uphold Alex and Lori Beth in their marriage? If so, please answer, we will. Before we hear scripture read, let us pray for the Spirit to illumine us. For your holy word we are about to hear, O God, open us to your truth. Shine upon us your light so that we will see you and understand more fully what you desire of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Alex and Lori Beth have selected two scriptures for this special day, the day of their wedding. 
The first is Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 through 24. Listen for God's word. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the bird of the air and to every animal of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. Then God took one of the man's ribs and closed up its place with flesh, and the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. Therefore, a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. The second passage is from the New Testament, 1 Corinthians 13. This passage follows where Paul has already written about spiritual gifts that Christians have in the 12th chapter. In that chapter, the Apostle Paul talks about speaking in tongues and prophecy knowledge, and even of faith. While these are all good things for the Christian community, there is still, Paul says, something even more important. Listen for God's word. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but love rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide these three, and the greatest of these is love. Thanks be to God for his holy word. The Apostle Paul was writing to a church in modern-day Greece. A church in his day was in great turmoil. Many issues were affecting the harmony and unity of that church. I find it interesting that the Apostle found it necessary to describe love, to write about love. The church in Corinth was very fractured. Many people were choosing up sides based on the preachers. And some said, I belong to Cephas. Others said, I belong to Apollos. Somebody said, I belong to Paul. Even somebody said, well, I belong to Jesus. They were all getting upset with each other. They were struggling to be a good witness of God 
So Paul found it necessary to write to tell them that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or arrogant or rude. While Paul's letter was not meant initially to be read at weddings, 1 Corinthians 13 has become a very popular passage for weddings, and rightly to be so. Weddings are the moments that we lift up the importance of marriage, and the most important ingredient in a marriage is nothing more than love, the love of God and the love for each other. Our opening scripture reminds us about such an importance. The letter of 1 John says, God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. These are very powerful words for our generation. Many people cry out, well, I don't know where God is in all this turmoil and all this chaos of my life or even of the world. I don't know why God would allow such a thing. Where is God, people say. That question has been asked for many years, even reported in the Bible as Holy Scripture. And there is nothing wrong in asking that question. As Christians, we believe that God is love. In fact, if you want to see God, it's very simple, almost too simple for our minds. Simply show love. A deep, caring commitment to another person, a kind deed, a warm hug, a welcoming home, a forgiving attitude. Yes, whenever these happen, God is there. Where is God? Look no further than the very presence of love. What is love? Love is patient and kind, not envious, not boastful, not arrogant, not rude. For this loving relationship have we been created. From the very beginning, God has ordained this way of life as beneficial for us. And after hoping for years to find that right person, after dating for four years, after being tricked by friends to come together to an event that you didn't know you both were going to be at, after being lifeguard and sunbather, who knows for how long, after getting to understand each other better, you are here. A beautiful place surrounded by beautiful family and friends. You are here as an expression of God's plan in your particular life as well as in ours. You are willing to share your lives together, to dream together, to explore life together, to give strength to each other, and God is now poised to work his purpose in you as a couple united. But we must still do our part to be attentive to God's spirit working in our lives learning how best to show love based on our personality and the personality of our partner. Rabbis have long told a story about the place where God wanted his temple to be built on earth. You see, there were two brothers who were both millers, grinding grain to produce meal, and they would be paid in that amount of grounded meal. One was married with a large family. The other was single. One day, the married brother took pity on his single brother and said, How lonely my brother seems. While I have my wife as a loyal companion and my sons and daughters, yet my brother is all alone. And so he thought, I will bring him more grain tonight to his home. Amazingly, the single brother had looked at his married brother and thought, How hard my brother is working. How many mouths he must feed. <coughs> And yet we both share the same amount of pay. And so he decided, because he loved his brother, that he would take some extra grain and leave it at his married brother's home. And so during the dark of night, both brothers took grain and carried it to the other person's home and left it without being seen. The next morning, they were surprised to see a gift, presumably from God, each thought. Not realizing what had happened, they felt blessed by the gift of processed grain on their porch. In giving away, they also received. This continued for several nights when one night, brother spied brother, 
carrying the sacks of ground meal, realizing quickly what had been taking place and that the nightly ritual had actually been acts of love, they embraced each other, confirming physically what they felt internally as they wept in each other's arms and as tears fell to the ground, God said, where these tears are falling, that is where my temple will be built because there is true love. We know in Christ, as he gave the ultimate sacrifice out of his love, we too experience love from God. And as we grow in that knowledge, as the Corinthians were encouraged to grow, we understand love better and are led to share that love more freely, especially in community with each other as husband and wife. May it be so for you, Lori Beth and Alex. May it be so for everyone this day to give love to another and to receive it back. For where love is, there is God. Glory be to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Alex and Lori Beth, since it is your intention to marry, turn and face each other, join right hands, and with your promises, bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. Alex, please repeat after me. I, Alex, take you, Lori Beth. I, Alex, take you, Lori Beth. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise... And I promise before God and these witnesses, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful husband, to be your loving and faithful husband, in plenty and in want, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. Lori Beth, please repeat after me. I, Lori Beth, take you, Alex. I, Lori Beth, take you, Alex. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. What symbols of these promises have you brought? Before they place these rings on their hands, let us pray. O oh God of love, we honor you this day for your word and for your actions in our lives. We ask your blessing on these two pieces of jewelry. Bless Lori Beth and Alex as they put these on. May you guide their minds to remember these rings as symbols of the vows they have made this day. In the name of Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Lord, may I place this ring on Alex's finger and repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And our abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Let the people say Amen. 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 Among God's creations, sand has a particular quality of strength and also flexibility. Sand is similar to our souls in that we are strong and flexible. May your two souls blend together as sand does, becoming united in body and spirit, a foretaste of heaven above.
as I conclude the pastoral prayer, I will invite you and lead us all into saying the Lord's Prayer. And as I do that, I would like to caution you that depending on how you know the Lord's Prayer, the version I'll be using and probably some others will be the one using the words debts and debtors. If you happen to trespass, you might need to catch back up very quickly. Let's go to God in prayer. Eternal God, creator and preserver of life, redeemer and sustainer, your grace enfolds us throughout our life. We thank you this day for love, your very being and core. We thank you that Alex and Lori Beth have found your love and have found love in each other. We are grateful for your guiding hand in their lives. And today we pray for you to strengthen Alex and Lori Beth, bestowing upon them the qualities of life that they will need to be a united witness of love and faith. Fill them with such joy and care that their home will overflow with peace and welcome. Guide them by the light of your word that they will walk in your paths and enjoy the beauty and pleasures of the Christian life now together. Bless each person they find under their care with love and acceptance, nurture and growth. Help us all, O oh God, to do your will in each of our homes and lives. We lift up to you all relationships and ask for your love to undergird each bond of trust and friendship. In each relationship, cultivate joy, O oh God, so that we will fulfill your desire for goodness and peace to be with all people. Enrich us with your grace and mercy so that supporting one another we may serve those in need and hasten your kingdom of peace, love, and justice on earth. This prayer we make in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught his disciples to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For as much as Alex Evans and Lori Beth Bullard have consented together in holy matrimony before God and these witnesses, and thereto have pledged their faithfulness each to the other, and have pledged the same by the giving and receiving each of a ring, by the authority accorded to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and in conjunction with the laws of the state of South Carolina, I now proclaim that they are husband and wife. What God joins together, let no one separate. Receive this charge as the community of faith gathered in this holy place. The words from the, the Paul's letter to the church in Colossae. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And receive this blessing. The grace of Christ attend you. The love of God surround you. The Holy Spirit keep you. That you may live in faith. Abound in hope. And grow in love. Both now and forevermore. Let the people say amen. 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 Alex you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for a pinky problem. That's really nice. You can speak words, I think. Thank you. Get your flowers. As you'll turn and face the congregation. I am honored to present to you the congregation, Mr. and Mrs. Alexander Christopher Evans. <laughs>
Where's that lady? Can they get the lights turned on? <laughs> you in touch. You're in touch. And that, you left them in the street after that. Oh gosh, I burned half two glass. I mean, just some floor. As a matter of fact, it's like you in a little bit of prayer right there. Also. <laughs> Hands are up. And like, so we can work with that. That was an hallelujah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All the girls are pretty. All the men hate. Oh. It's awful terrible to you ever seen in your life. <laughs> they be going like, mm, I'm going to be deer hunting, I could be looking at the ball game. There's somebody uh, listening out in the parking lot. I got my truck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When I walk by the door, I just get it. Caroline's still up? Who's listening? I got a game going out there in my truck. Oh! Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. I'll stick my head out a minute and go like, let me see how the weather. Oh, the sun's still going real good. I hear it. Mm-hmm. The pastor might want to listen. The guys their phones out there. <laughs> Oh, now that was a bad, bad time. Oh, yeah. In the grave street, <laughs> that was real bad. <laughs> you was lucky you got married that day. <laughs> you couldn't wait a week. Well, people yeah. wanted to leave. I said bye. I thought it was later. I thought it was yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 So it's all about you. The whole thing's about you. Be happy. If somebody else has got some crossways in their backside, don't worry about it. As long as you're happy. I want smiles and pretty smiles, and the rest of them can just fly Our off the end of the here. ditch. Our dad's here. Our dad's here. Oh, your dad rules. I like it. He's fine. He's got, no, he's got a That's how Sam's going to without me. Another there's a, there's a, you know how to type a file? Everybody's got a smartphone. We can figure it out. I can't remember how I did it because I, I just got lucky. I could, I could YouTube it. Go ahead, girl. We just, God. we just, we just, <laughs> we got a smartphone. I will figure it out. <laughs> I didn't even think about. You still look very good. Just can't help yourself, can That's just who you are. Well, it's got like a black little cosmetic bag in there. I get your jewelry. Nobody's photographed, nobody will know you don't know how to tie it because you're just tying away here. Oh. Yeah, you always gotta have one guy in the you have one guy in the party who knows how to do it. You guys didn't you didn't pick anybody. <laughs>
Give me one more, don't move. Three, two. Be glad you're not Eskimo kissing. <laughs> okay, cool deal. Be glad you're not Eskimo kissing. All right, ready? Don't move it, just keep out on kissing them. You got plenty of years, let's go ahead and get started right now. Three, two, one. Cool business. Cool, cool move. Hold that there. Three, two, one. All right. Get away from it. Don't touch it. Get away from the ride and that big ass. Yeah. 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 Y'all will do separate like that. One set and then another. Three, two, one. Don't move. I'm going to take my shot and make sure we got what we need. One more. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's not going yeah, away. Yeah, girl. That's how I'm going to Yeah. It's all yellow, red, red. All right, Mom. That's your little girl, and then you got to look at me and give me a good shot. He's all day drinking like, oh. Look at my daughter. Is there any way we can cool those lights down? <laughs> those can lights? Yeah, somewhere. Three, two, one. Nobody move. Yeah. That's all of them? Cool deal. What we'll do is we'll get you in there because you're part of the family and then we're chunking you over the side for real fast. Deal? Good? Smiley, you ready? Sedma. Sedma. Mom, don't get too loose. If you put your arms up, I'll probably jack it up. Let's go. As a matter of fact, you need to come up and spend it out there. That's weird. I don't want that one. One. Don't move. Raise your flowers just a little bit. Whoop, whoop, I, I don't want to hit it. Don't grab it. Magic stream. Lower it down, lower it down. Y'all, you don't move your head. You just, you know you'll you get Drop it just a little bit on. I hope you should. Where you going? I was trying to get my flowers up. You just popped right in there, didn't you? All right, ready? I'm coming with a flat. Ready? Three, two, one. Mom, you want to drop the flowers a little bit, honey? I'm gonna do a test shot. Three, two, one. That's a test shot. Now we got somebody looking the other way, but that's okay because I'm gonna check everything out. Ready? Three. Cheeseburger in paradise. One. Oh, look at me. What? Mickey Mouse. Where? Three, two, one. Did you see Mickey Mouse? Okay. You had to do this. How many years? Four, 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 four. Tell me you get her all the time. Mom spread out just a little bit. Mom ease off just, I mean, just a smidgen. That's good. That's good. That's give me good space in my life. You can ease in a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, great. Ready? Three. I know you know how to do the picture. You're saying it's not all kinds. Three, two, one. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Ready? Three, two, one.
Miss Rishma Vyan. And Mrs. Christina B. Ziegler. Our honorary bridesmaid, Mrs. Elizabeth S. Kahn. Mrs. Amy A. Bullard. And Mrs. Kendra T. Bullard. Mr. Justin Baker. <laughs> Mr. Bentley Oates.
Piece of Go ahead and get your finger on, brother. Alright, now you gotta beat the gently and sweet. I think.
Oh, you know what I mean?